All right, we have some disturbing news from Ireland. I will quote my man Uberboyo on X, and he says, The Irish police are now organizing in battle lines and pepper spring the local Irish. Buses of migrants are set to be dumped into these buildings in the middle of this people's neighborhood. No one wants this. These are unpopular government mandates that are imposed by force. And he continues the thread by asking the following. Ever had riot police in your neighborhood forcing you into compliance while they moved in a squadron of fighting aged males? And continuing the thread, the locals have tried being civil and blockading the planned asylum center in protest. They are met by a small army. So quite gruesome, indeed quite telling of the Irish regime or the regime in the West. It's not all too much difference between the current government in Sweden, Ireland, Australia, what have you. They don't really listen. They talk a big game about democracy and the, the will of the people. But when it actually comes down to it, then uh, yeah, you're being met with a baton in your head. A concerned Irish mother who perhaps she has a daughter of 12 years. She knows full well what happens when these migrants, they move into areas because it happens all over the West. We have so many tragedies. I keep saying this, these tragedies, they will continue to occur as long as we have this multicultural health project going on, the mass immigration from the third world. So she goes out, she's worried about what will happen to her 12 year old daughter when these men who are, you know, there is a pattern in the West that it's not a good place for a young girl to be when these men men are around so she goes out she tries to protest but she gets met with um best case scenario silence worst case scenario pepper spray or a baton in the head now i'm not accusing the irish police of having done this yet a baton in the head uh perhaps they do and i also want to say something to all of my irish friends subscribers if you do know anyone in the guard in the irish police then have a talk with them talk to them ask is this what you signed up for is this um, is this in line with your moral values uh, to treat your own population this way? They might say, oh, you know, I'm just following orders, but how long can you, for how long can you have that argument, really? You can't really say that, oh, but my superiors told me to place a baton in this uh, 50-year-old woman's head because he was worried about her daughter. Uh, it doesn't really fly, it doesn't really work, so do shame them, and I want to shame the Irish police if you're watching this, Find your balls, find your courage. The next time the your superiors say that you need to bully and harass these locals because you want to put in fighting aged men in their neighborhood, then you say, you know what, I'm actually not going to do that. I'm actually not going to uh, do what you tell me. Now, I'm not saying that anyone should do anything illegal or that goes against any community guidelines or whatever, but no one can force you to do this things you know it's not only about others it's also about yourself about your own karma it will come back to haunt you and i'm saying that on a purely spiritual level so that's another topic but i just want to have that said now anyway back to the democracy aspect at hand they talk a big game as i said about democracy the will of the people equal representation why are they so angry why are the irish so angry yeah well Probably because no one listens to them when they say we don't want this in, in our country. Same thing in Sweden, by the way. So if you ask why are these, all of these people so angry? Yeah, well, it's quite natural why they would be angry. So no big surprise there and things will only continue to heat up. And if we are optimistic here, if I want to white pill everyone, we can only see that this is the hopefully the death throes of the uh, liberal democratic regime. The liberal democratic regime, as they call themselves, not very democratic in my humble opinion, but it resembles more and more how the regimes in the former Soviet world, how they acted. Uh, so, uh, yeah, they're exposing themselves more and more for every day and hopefully more people will wake up to see this and to see that uh, they do not represent them and that throughout all of the West, the Actual people, they are not so keen on this great replacement going on. So anyway, all that being said, my full support to the Irish people. I'm with you, your Swedish friend here and honorary Irishman, as I I claimed the title when I lived in Ireland, so I have a special bond as well. Now, anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. XXO, boom!